Okay, guys, good morning, good morning. Um, so today I wanted to speak about something quite interesting, uh, something a bit more technical um, in this video. And uh, specifically, I wanted to talk about the, the gold versus silver ratio. So I don't know if you've been following what's been going on with gold, but um, gold has been rallying higher and um, especially off the back of the um, interest rate um, 50 basis point movement the other day. Um, gold has rallied and um, it's kind of leaving silver behind. And one of the things that um, is interesting to look at is the ratio between them. So what I've done is I've basically plotted gold divided by silver. And this is what it looks like. And although I actually don't have um, data beyond 2007, I can tell you that this actually is a 20 year high right now. So in other words, basically gold has become expensive relative to silver. And historically, they do tend to kind of um, catch up. So um, silver tends to catch up um, with, with gold in terms of uh, movement. So right now, you know, if you've kind of missed out on gold, it could be an idea to start looking at silver as a potential asset to get into. Now, I wanted to do a little bit of technical analysis actually on the ratio itself to see um, if there was anything interesting. And the first thing I want to do is I want to just put in our Fibonacci here. OK, and this basically shows us where there could be a potential swing. So if I just add that in and what the Fibonacci is basically telling us right here is we have this um, movement where we have an, uh, a B point. This is an um, this is a C point and we are predicting right now that the market is going to end up here. OK, so this is the 161.8 percent OK extension. So if I just kind of load up my pen. And if I just draw in here, look, so here, this is the A. This is the B, C, and then the extension of this move is leading us up to here. So we're getting quite close to that point. Now, um, that's one thing, and this is a, on a monthly chart. Now, we can also do a little bit of technical analysis, and you can see here that this market has been channeling uh, somewhat. So it's been holding on this support line. So you can see here, it's basically reacting very nicely to this line here. So what I like to do when I find that is I try and find potentially um, a parallel line that also touches at least a couple of times. So let's see here if we can something like that. So okay that's perfect. So let's just know a bit more. Is that down a little bit? Just drawn it in twice. Okay, so so what I I can see there is, look how you have this support area here, that also then becomes resistance. And if you have a look, that aligns really nicely there with that level. So. What you can do with something like this, especially if you're using TradingView, is you can put an alert here. So if we right click, add alert. Uh, in fact, let me just do it just below that level. So right click, add alert. So it will let me know, if I just clean this up, when the market is basically, when this ratio is going to be hitting this price. So for example, we could put something like, you know, gold, 
potential reversal with silver. So simply put, at this kind of area here, if the market got there, you could be looking to be going long silver and I guess um, if you have gold, selling your gold in exchange for silver, or you could be just looking at just, you know, investing in silver at this point. Um, so remember, this is a monthly chart, but this is just a, an, a trading idea. Um, and I thought it was quite interesting, especially because of the recent big surge in gold, which hasn't really followed the same way um, in silver. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment. Um, otherwise, have a great day. Good trading. Catch you again soon. Thank you.